And after a very long time, when we were there, one day, someone said to me, or the police woman, they were saying to me, we, they, will, they will bring me a newspaper. They started smuggling the Ren Daily Mail for me. And no, that was before Neil died. One time, one woman came in and said to me, and didn't say anything, was in a uniform and opened the door. And when he opened the door of the cell, this was a very dirty cell. The cell itself and the wall was written so many ugly things, like Vasi for Mort, like Vasi for Karsi, like Vasi for what? You know, all those kind of things. And now I wanted to clean the wall. And yes, I started cleaning because it was torturing me. And then this woman came in and locked the door behind herself and took off the police uniform. And underneath the police uniform came a church uniform, Methodist church uniform. And he said, let us pray, kneel, let us pray. And, well, I did kneel, but I didn't pray. I wasn't sure what she's doing. And she said she could see that I am getting weaker and weaker. And after that, she put on her uniform and went out. From then on, I started getting information until one day I got information that Neil was was dead. And I think I must have lost it in my mind. I, I, I couldn't. I didn't take it well at all. I can't recall the details very well. But when we came out of prison. Liz Floyd was also one of the people who was detained and who was a fiancé of Neil Agat. So I asked Liz to say, Liz, when we were now out, Liz, I'm, I want to go and visit Neil's grave. And Liz couldn't understand what for, why, Emma? I said, I must, I must go and visit Neil's grave. So you organize your friends who know where Neil has been buried. And then Liz did it for my, in my favor. But when it did happen, the day when we went to Neil's grave, Liz was there. She came with plants, you know, little pot plants. And when we got to the grave, the African I am, I had to. I did my prayers, you know, and so forth. But by the time when we were supposed to leave, Liz was now so attached that she didn't want to leave. She was the one now who was sitting there digging and so forth. And after that, she said, Emma, I feel so much better. It did something for her as well, which I felt good about it. <laughs>